Thanks for watching these Rivage PM training videos. I'm Andy Cooper from Yamaha's European Research and Development Team. During the next few minutes, I will show you how to set up a pair of mobile apps that can be used with Rivage PM systems. That is, Stage Mix for iPad and Monitor Mix for iPhone or Android. They both have different purposes. Rivage PM Stage Mix is designed for the console operator or mix engineer to use while away from the control surface, or use it by the surface for extra visual information. Anyway, it's most useful while walking around the stage or auditorium, adjusting EQ levels, delay or dynamics as you go. Up to two iPads can be run at the same time alongside the PM Editor software for Windows or Mac computers. On the other hand, Monitor Mix is designed for the musician, and up to 10 devices can be run synced to the DSP engine. When you first open Monitor Mix and connect to the system, you need to select a single mono or stereo mix or matrix bus. Then the app will allow control of all the send levels and pan to that one output bus, so the performer can control their own monitor mix. It's deliberately simple and easy to use, and it's actually the same app that is compatible with the smaller Yamaha consoles, including CL, QL, and TF series mixers. Before you get connected, Make sure your app versions are compatible with the hardware. Check the compatibility chart in the downloads page for Rivage PM systems on Yamaha's website. For example, Rivage PM version 4.7 requires Stage Mix version 1.5.0 and Monitor Mix version 1.3.0. Next, you'll need to prepare the IP addresses for your wireless network. The system requires a static IP address to be set, even if the iOS devices can get an automatic address from the Wi-Fi router. So, find out the IP address range your router is using and set a compatible address for the console or DSP engine. For example, if your Wi-Fi router is running as a DHCP server, and giving IP addresses to devices in the range of 192.168.0.10 to 192.168.0.11, it would make sense to give an IP address of 192.168.0.111 to the console or 192.168.0.112 to the DSP. So, the first three octets of the IP address are the same, and the last octet is unique. Now, you have to choose which network port to use in the Rivage PM system. You could connect to console or DSP engine. Which is best? Well, if you're using the PM Editor software, it's recommended to use a different connection. PM Editor will use a different static IP address in the range 192.168.53 and it needs a wired connection because of the necessary communication bandwidth. So, if PM Editor is connected to the DSP engine, use the console for the Wi-Fi connection. On a PM7 system with the DSP engine inside the control surface, you'll need to use the same network port. And it can be done on other systems, but you'll need either a network switch or a Wi-Fi router that can handle IGMP snooping. That is a function that filters out multicast data. And without that, your Wi-Fi network will become congested with the data that is meant for the PM editor software and the Stage Mix and Monitor Mix apps won't work so well. Let's look at the settings you need to make on the console to facilitate the Wi-Fi connections. Open the setup screen and find the network window. 
Firstly, in for mixer control, set each IP address to a unique number within the range used by the Wi-Fi router and set the subnet mask to match. The default setting of 255.255.255.0 is suitable in most cases. These two IP addresses can be in the same range, but must have a different last number. For example, 192.168.0.128 and 192.168.0.129. Once the IP addresses are set, you can enable the console IP setting to use stage mix and the DSP engine IP setting for monitor mix. A name and PIN number can be set for monitor mix to restrict who has access. This will need to be set on each remote device before they can connect. Next, open the MISC tab and select the communication quality. If you are not using PM Editor, then select Stage Mix Only, which will reduce the amount of bandwidth used for communication, keeping the network efficient. If you intend to use both Editor and Stage Mix, you'll need to use a network switch or Wi-Fi router with their IGMP snooping function enabled. Otherwise, too much multicast data will pass through Wi-Fi, reducing the control quality from the iOS devices. Note that even though Rivage PM Editor software and Monitor Mix apps can work with the DSP engine without a console, Stage Mix does need a console online to function. Even if you connect the, through the network connection of the DSP engine, Stage Mix needs to communicate with a console which is synced with the DSP. On the other hand, Monitor Mix can only function when the DSP engine is online. It will not work when connected via a console network connection if the DSP engine is offline. Anyway, now we are ready to get connected, let's launch Rivage PM Stage Mix and take a quick look at its features. Along the top, you can see level meters, inputs or outputs or custom layers. Scroll through the meter bridge to select which channels to see on the faders below. Above the faders, there are thumbnails to show channel processing Scroll through EQ, Dynamics, Insert, Delay, and Pan. If you want to see Gain or Silk, press the buttons at the bottom. Press Sends to access the Send on Fader. Touch the selected Send to choose a different output destination. On the right, select to see a full screen view of processing such as EQ, Dynamics, Inserts, or Delay. Channel names, icons, and colors can also be edited. And there are shortcuts available for copy and paste and other functions, as well as user define buttons. Press the Scene title to access scene memory functions and touch the cog for setup, including mute groups, oscillator, custom fader layers, user defined buttons, and preferences. Most functions you may need while working away from the console can be found here. Though remember, you still do need a console online for this to work correctly. Back to the user define buttons, and it's worth noting that these buttons on Stage Mix are assigned separately from the user defined keys on the console, so you're free to select a different set of functions. Six buttons can be viewed along the bottom of the screen, while your favorite assignments can be saved and loaded within the setup window. So, 
it's quick and easy to switch assignments for different tasks. Monitor mix is much more simple to operate. When you connect, first select the mixer you wish to communicate with in case there's more than one in the network. Press connect and then you'll be asked for the pin code. Enter that, then select which mix or matrix bus you wish to control. That would be different for each performer. Then monitor mix displays all the levels from each input channel to that output bus. If it's a stereo bus, you'll also be able to choose pan. The master output level and balance is shown on the right. Touch and hold the channel name to switch the send on or off. White is on, grey is off. Along the top, there's a button to hide all the channels that don't contribute to the mix. If their levels are down or their sends are switched off, that reduces the clutter. You can see the current scene memory, but not recall or store it. And you can make your own personal groups, unique to each control device to suit the needs of the performer, such as grouping all drum kit channels to one fader, or all keyboard channels. You can also reorder the channels, making your own custom layout. Finally, there are a few settings, like how many faders to see on the screen and how sensitive they are to adjust. Like I said, simple and easy for the performers to adjust their own settings. It's the same Monitor Mix app that works with Yamaha's CL, QL and TF consoles. Though, consider when it may be useful for the console operator to use alongside the control surface. Perhaps select the lead singer's mix to always have available on an extra touchscreen beside the console, or an important effect send such as vocal delay or reverb. It could be useful to have those parameters always available on a specific screen. As a reminder, up to 10 devices can run monitor mix with each DSP engine, and two devices can run stage mix with each mixing system. Well, I hope this has been a useful overview for you. Now you should be ready to use these tools to enhance your next production. Keep on mixing wherever you are. <laughs>